The Zephyr is a train of legend. You can climb aboard at Chicago's historic Union Station and ride all the way to Oakland, California. It runs through some of the most gorgeous scenery America can dish up, from the Great Plains of America's heartland to the Rocky Mountain West. The train is the subject of a book by Henry Kaiser called Zephyr, Tracking a Dream Across America. Henry's the book critic for the Chicago Sun-Times. He and his wife Debbie have come to know this train intimately and hop aboard whenever they can get away. This trip is just a quick run out to Glenwood Springs, Colorado and back, a great way to spend a long weekend. Reading Henry's book, you too come to know the train, the scenery, the crew, and the passengers. Did I ever tell you about the time I went to Yellowstone? <laughs> you learn a lot about the people aboard because they reveal themselves to Henry and tell wonderful stories. Many writers say the best thing you can be is a good listener. In Henry Kaiser's case, that means reading lips. Henry is deaf. He says that helped when talking with crew members. They opened up to me because I think they felt because I had sometimes had a hard time connecting with other people. To have that same experience too with certain kinds of passengers. And I think they were grateful to have someone who was interested in them for themselves, not just as scenery on the railroad. In his book, there are funny and touching stories that relate to his lack of hearing but it's not a book about a deaf person riding a train. The pages reveal the people, the scenery, and the experiences that make this ride so special. The time. That's that what appeals to me most about a long train about journey. About Despite the railroad's history of diminishing time and increasing speed, time on today's long distance train no longer means haste, at least for me. Exactly the reverse, in fact. Train time means large blocks of leisure, to rest, to read a book from cover to cover, to write a few thousand words on my laptop computer in the warm privacy of a sleeper compartment, or simply to wool gather, letting my imagination carry me where it will. Debbie Kaiser often does the reading at appearances in bookstores. She also helps Henry talk with other people when they have trouble understanding him or when he has trouble reading their lips. He doesn't know sign language, never learned it because it came along after he was already reading lips. I don't think of myself as being an interpreter, although I know I am one, but when you asked how we communicate, we've been married for 33 years, so basically he just reads my mind. <laughs> Just by buying a ticket and taking a train, you are signing up for more than just a ride from place to place. In his book, Kaiser unveils what most rail fans already know. As a train is an adventure in itself, do not just getting from point A to point B. I think Americans have forgotten how to travel. They just want to be there. But when you take the time to see America, from a low level. It's a wonderful experience. The Zephyr cuts a picturesque swath through the country. Any spot aboard is pretty amazing, but the best seat in the house is usually off limits. Riding in the cab is an extremely rare treat. The, uh, the territory that you run over is going to be different than probably any territory you've ever seen, unless, of course, you're up in Montana or some parts of Idaho. You might see similar territory, but it's just, uh, it's unique in that way. You're, you're up steep grades with canyons and uh, tunnels are cut in there just making cuts for you. And it, it's quite unique. You follow the Colorado River for 156 miles. It's, it's quite a unique route. When all that scenery makes you hungry, head to the dining car. Unlike the airlines, the food here is fresh and prepared by onboard chefs who use their own recipes. Amtrak tries hard to use regional ingredients whenever possible. Since the fish is fresh out of the streams in Colorado, fish it is. If there's anybody that did not get a reservation that would like to have dinner, we do have seating available at this time. 
As a passenger, you have some accommodation options. You can curl up in one of the coach seats, which can get a little cramped when you're trying to sleep. Then again, these folks don't seem to be having any trouble. You can also book a sleeper compartment, which, although compact, offers almost all the comforts of home in a pint-sized space. And when you awake, there are always more amazing things to see out the window, places only a train can take you. For Henry Kaiser, there is no such thing as riding the Zephyr too many times. There's always something new out the window or inside the train. What is next for us? That is a good question. I don't know yet. Henry wants to retire and write, and I won't let him. So let me write to tell him when we're to retire. <laughs> like a lot of us, trains inspire him. And like a lot of us, they always seem to be calling him to climb aboard. So from time to time, when they had light, but it's the night. And a quartet of diesel fellows pass with passing freight for the West Coast. I want to be on that train. If you want to read more about the Zephyr, pick up Henry's book, Zephyr, Tracking a Dream Across America. Thanks for being with us, and please join us next time for more Tracks Ahead. <laughs>